As you can tell, I didn't manage to find a wrench, but I did find a pail, which is just as well as the drain pipe is quite clogged and rusty. Whilst I consider the next step in my plumbing problem, you can listen to another innocent story. The magician, or till death do us part. It was hard to imagine why Jenny thought the magician in the circus attractive. He had large bulging eyes, a high domed forehead, and a thin slit of a mouth which twitched slightly all the time. But dressed in his top hat and wearing a red silk lined cape, he was everything a poor romantic little farm girl could ask for, especially a little farm girl whose life was one dreary day of drudgery after another. Perhaps it was the strange hypnotic feeling she had when he said, Jenny, eh? What a pretty name. What a pretty girl. And you say you would like a job as my assistant in the circus? Come in, Jenny. She stepped into his wagon and looked about and was so entranced by what she saw that she was only dimly aware of the door swinging shut and the lock clicking behind her. The room was filled with strange things. A bat bobbing in a large jar of alcohol. Pictures of strange creatures with five legs and six eyes. On the walls, strangely colored charts of the sun and the stars. The windows draped with a thick purple gauze. A mummified cat baring its teeth. And huddled on an old bent chair in one corner was a young girl of about her own age. I was just talking to Esmeralda here, said the magician. She's been a bad girl, haven't you, my pet? I won't stay here any longer, said the girl in a tearful voice. That's one, said the magician, his mouth twitching a bit more than usual. I won't be your assistant any longer, said Esmeralda. That's two, twitched the magician as he took a step toward the girl. Jenny whispered, what are you going to do? The magician turned his large eyes on her and said, I'll be with you in a moment, my dear. Esmeralda ran to the door, but it was locked. Let me go, she screamed. The magician waved a long bony finger at the girl and said, That's three! With that, there was a blinding flash. <laughs> Jenny looked, and there, where a moment before stood a pretty young girl, was a squeaking white mouse. The magician pounced on the mouse and chuckled. <laughs> he picked it up and walked to a small closet. He opened the door and took out a cage that was filled with white mice. He dropped Esmeralda in the cage and put it away. He turned and moved toward Jenny. And now, my dear, what was it you were saying? He said. Jenny ran to the door and started to hammer at it with her fists. She turned and said, You terrible, horrible man doing such an awful thing. I wouldn't be your assistant if you were the last magician on earth. The magician shook his finger at her, smiled and said quietly, That's one. <laughs> <laughs> 